I'm Jennifer Lavalita, Marketing Manager at Autonomic. We're here at CDA 2016 with VivaTech, um, introducing our new E-Series line of products. Uh, to introduce this series, uh, we are starting with the introduction of this MMS 1E single source uh, music streamer, and we're also introducing our M120E 4-zone amplifier. So um, a lot of people know us for our MMS 2A and 5A music streamer. Um, basically, we've had a lot of market demand to introduce a single source, and that's what this baby right here is. Um, basically, it's exactly what it sounds like, single source. Uh, you've got a variety of outputs, uh, RCA analog, coaxial digital. We're introducing HDMI audio out, or you can use that for our on-screen display, um, and in addition to a USB audio output. You can also um, expand so you can get access to your local libraries from any network attached storage device or um, any external hard drive. Uh, we've also had the unit certified by the Japan Audio Society, so it is uh, compatible with playback and support up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz high resolution audio. Um, so, when paired with any third party amplification, this is again a single streamer, but when paired with any E series amplification, this actually becomes a network player where you get two network streams of audio into as many as 96 zones. Uh, the E-Series line actually can support up to 32 simultaneous network streams of audio. No audio connections required when paired with our E-Series amplifiers. Um, so essentially you can do 16 of these MMS 1E units to get your 32 simultaneous streams into uh, the first amplifier of the lineup is the M120E. Uh, and you'll see throughout the course of the year that all of our current Mirage uh, products, both media servers and amplifiers, will be revamped and reintroduced to be E-Series compatible. Um, with that, you can see next to the lineup are going to be the M801E and M401E, which are our higher powered amplifiers um, coming soon towards the end of Q4 20, uh, 2016. Sorry. Um, so this diagram here really showcases uh, what the system can do and what our recommended configuration is. Again, it's all about getting everything on your local area network and um, just sharing these streams throughout uh, all of the amplifiers placed all throughout the home. Um, and then this system is controlled using our Mirage Media Controller app for iOS or Android, which is free. And we also have our in-wall KP6 keypad controller, which is really awesome. Uh, it has your basic transport controls in addition to four user programmable presets. So think of it much like your car stereo. You would curate your content using our app. It could be anything from a Pandora station, a Sirius XM station, um, a Spotify playlist, your local album, and the user can customize this on the fly. So another recommended configuration that we have uh, using the MMS 1E and the 120E is a wireless setup. Uh, basically the MMS 1E does have built-in Wi-Fi. So what you can do here is you can see that these are a smaller form factor, so you can um, install them into any structured wiring enclosure, or you can even place them in any closet, as long as you can get power to both units, and then do a straight ethernet connection from the MMS 1E to the M120E, you've got yourself a nice basic two-stream, four-zone audio package. So um, along with the introduction of the MMS 1E, we did revamp and refresh our on-screen display, uh, which you can access and present using the HDMI uh, video output on the MMS 1E unit. We're also getting ready to announce uh, DTS Play Fi integration uh, capability. So basically what that allows is you can take an MMS 1E in a Mirage audio system environment and it will actually, um, you can then use any DTS Play Fi enabled speakers to um, add an additional zone to the Mirage audio system and still be able to group the zones together and do individual uh, volume control with that remote zone um, using our Mirage Media Controller app.